Oh, no, you, you know what? You sat down with the uh, Harry Potter folks, right? I sat down with Hermione. Just Hermione. Exactly. You Just, mean Emma Watson. Exactly. Yeah. Like I said earlier, I'm having trouble keeping them straight from their characters. Uh, yeah. Uh, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix opened yesterday, broke box office records for the Valley. All kinds of people lining up for it yesterday when I went to go see... Nancy Drew. <laughs> ah. Anyway, I went to London about 10 days ago to sit down with the cast, including Emma Watson, who has played Hermione for almost a decade now. Now, remember, as I went to London, it had just come out on the Internet, Secrets Revealed, the plot spoiled to the latest right. book that's coming right. out in about Supposedly, a week, right? Supposedly, right? Supposedly. Supposedly. So I broke the news of that to her and asked her where they're spending their money. Take a listen. Nice to see you again. Hey. I started thinking, I've been talking to you guys for almost 10 years about this, and if you add up all the interviews you've done about Harry Potter since that first day we so met you it, guys at that it castle... It would be really scary. It would be really, really scary. I, don't, I try not to think about it. <laughs> Even though I'm sure you would say at the end of the day it's one of the best things that, that's ever happened to you, life-altering, mm. of course. Are you kind of sick of being Hermione sometimes? Gosh, I'm never sick of being Hermione. I, like, I love Hermione. I guess, like, sometimes... Oh, I guess sometimes you wish you could kind of escape from it, but generally I love it, so it's all right. How do you handle it when you're uh, probably up in first class and someone gets bumped up to first class and they're a huge Harry Potter fan and they start to engage you? Do you just put the iPod on? Do you fake like you're sleeping? Um, yeah, I have to say, I do a bit. Um, yeah. I knew you were faking like you were sleeping. I knew it <laughs> the whole time. Great. Oh, well. Oh, no, he's given it away. If anyone sees me sleeping on a coach, they'll just be like, she's faking it. We can go talk to her. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Do uh, friends and family hit you up thinking that you have the direct conduit to JK and that you know what's going to happen in the Actually, next book? Actually, everyone who meets me at the moment, obviously, because kind of the tension is building to the release of this last book, everyone's right. like, what happens? You have to tell me. Like, they kind of assume that I know, and I'm like, I don't know either. I really want to know. It's awful. Like, I, oh, I can't wait. But um, Now, as we speak, rumor has it, someone leaked something on the internet. Have you heard about this? No. That someone like tapped into her computer and gave away the ending. Have you heard anything about this? No. When when did this or happen? Then, then I'm not going to tell you. But what is this today? In the yeah, just within the last 24 hours. And it could be a hoax. Could be wrong. <sighs> I really hope not. That would be awful if they ruin the ending. Nasty person. Well, see, let's... She should go to jail for that. That's awful. The nice thing about it, nothing's done until it's done, so she can just rewrite, take it a different direction. <sighs> Right? Well, I guess, but she's she's kind of done it now. If you if you had control of the situation and called J.K. and said, you know, for Hermione, I'd like to see her do this. What would you want to see Hermione do? Um, put her intellect and like her really good heart to something really worthy. Like I'd really like her to have like a really cool career. Like do something really cool. Think of the happiest um, thing you can. Like, you know? Graduate from Hogwarts and yeah, and go into the fashion industry. Or? No, God no. <laughs> Um, more like, you know, house self protesting or like, I don't know, something cool. Save the world. Yeah, Make save the world. world. Yeah, that sort of thing. Um, you know, world peace and all that. Right, right. Um, yeah, I like to see Hermione and Ron get together. I've said that from the very beginning, but that's still what I want. That could be a separate movie in itself. Well, it could that be. That could be a TV series, pretty much. Oh, God. I really hope they don't do anything like that. It'd be so awful. Right. No, it's got to, like, yeah. Now, Ron just told me he bought an ice cream truck. Is he goofing with me? No. Or did that really happen? Everyone thinks he's taking the piss, but he's perfectly serious. He, um, yes. And when I say just an ice cream van, it, it's fully equipped. It's got ice cream. It's got all the um, sprinkles. Right. And the, the sweets and everything. Is he compensating for something? Like when he was a child, did the ice cream truck pass him up one time? He said, never I again. I think he might have done. I think so. I think um, he's getting his own back. But um, I think it's so cool. I mean, only Rupert. Only Rupert could do that. To I each mean, their own. Yeah. I think, it's, I think it's so cool. I mean, if you do it, why not? Exactly. Nice to see um, you. Sure that. Did he, uh, did he have I to love go, sitting down with did him. Did he have to uh, go to the bathroom there during the interview? What's she talking about? What do you mean? Uh, oh, she threw out See, let me clarify this. She threw out English slang that oh, means okay. I'm British goofing on you. I'm okay. pulling your chain. Okay. I'm referring to Ra, uh, Rupert Grint. Right, we're referring to Rupert Grint truck. lying about buying an ice cream truck. But, in fact, he wasn't mm. he lying about that. He was, in fact, truthful when he said he bought an ice cream truck. And we'll prove it tomorrow because I sit okay. down with Rupert Grint, Ron Weasley, tomorrow in our exclusive Sacramento Chats Terrific. with him. And also, uh, more of that interview is going to be online. I'll put the whole okay. thing in its raw entirety. A cute pet is